Okay, my YT gang, we watched Roger Federer. It's time to watch Rafael Nadal. I found a video of Rafael Nadal's best points with commentary. This is another tennis reaction. I haven't done it in a while. I think I haven't done a tennis reaction in like a month or so. So my fault about that for all my tennis lovers out there, this vid is for you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Okay, I thought it didn't play. Let's go. Where's my hat? Hold on. Ah. Rafael Nadal. This is my guy, man. This dude plays with so much passion. I remember, um, I forgot what competition it was. It wasn't, it wasn't a Fadal competition, like a Nadal versus Federer competition. It was like, it was another Grand Slam that he just didn't, uh, got to the final and didn't win. Holy shit. This is versus Djokovic too. That man Djokovic is a fighter. Holy hell. They're both fighters. Djokovic just knows how to freaking return. Here we go. Federer versus Nadal. These matchups are so insane. Look at that. Look at that. That looked long. <laughs> the commentators are like, come on. They can't believe that crap. Yo, it is my dream to attend a Fidel, a Fidel match. In a Grand Slam, it would be insane if I could see them in a Grand Slam final. Oh my gosh. That man, turn up. But like I was saying, oh, King of the Clay. King of the Clay, you already know. Like I was saying, I was watching him during this one tournament. And after he lost the final, he did his interview. And he went inside. And he, like, had all his bags on him and stuff. And he put his head down. Put his head, like, put his head against the wall or something like that. And he was just, like, he was, like, talking to himself. Because he was sad that he lost. And, like, after that point, I was just, like, I, I've been rooting so hard for, like, look at this. Look at that. I've just been rooting for him, like, so much more. Like, Federer is my favorite player, bar none. But, like, after I saw that, like, he has that passion for the game, I saw myself in that, you know? We just hate to lose, like, especially big games. That's why, I like, I, I like watching Rafa. Yo, that was versus Federer. Oh, damn. 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 And then when he gets hyped, too, it's so live. It's so live. And y'all know he's a righty, too, right? That his uncle made him change to his left hand. Look at this. Look at that hustle. <laughs> Honestly, it is. It really is. It really is. It's as ridiculous as me keeping a pick in the front of my head. Rawinka. So do just all the Swiss have like, damn. Oh, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. That is actually a great shot. Here we go, Australian Open versus Federer. This match was absolutely insane. I didn't watch it. I was sleeping because I was just, I, I was like, I can't stay up for this. But I was like, if it goes to five sets, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to wake up and watch it. That's just freaking. Oh my gosh. Look at that backhand by hold on, hold on, hold on. Federer does this little I thought that was long for a second. Look at this shot by Federer. Middle of the court. Great shot. Roger knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. And look at Rafa. Desperation. Oh, and he got the applause from Roger. And he got the applause from Roger. He's a certified GOAT. He's a certified GOAT if he got the applause from Roger. 
Yo. Yo, if I can, my dream is to visit the Bernabeu while Cristiano Ronaldo still plays there and to watch a Fidel match. Hopefully it would be in a Grand Slam final or something like that, but if I can just watch it in at least in a Grand uh, Grand Slam setting, that'd be dope as hell. That would be a dream come true. But if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy KJ3, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.